Hi guys, I'm Jack. I'm here with Garrett at PowerPack. <laughs> and he's going to be teaching us a thing or two about hearing protection. So, Garrett, it seems uh, pretty straightforward. So what could you possibly teach us about hearing protection? What was that? I'm just kidding, Jack. So, it does seem pretty straightforward. When it comes to hearing protection, you want to reduce the amount of noise you're hearing, but not everyone knows exactly how to go about doing that or what their specific objective is when it comes to choosing the proper hearing protection gear. Got it. So what are we trying to accomplish with these? So the main objective here is to make sure that your ears are not exposed to over 85 decibels of noise. If you are exposed to over 85 decibels, it could cause hearing damage, and that's just something you want to completely avoid. So whatever hearing protection you're using, you want to make sure it reduces it to 85 or below. Okay, so I'm assuming I use a sound measuring tool, um, figure out how many decibels I'm being exposed to, and then choose the hearing protection that will get me under that 85 decibels? That's exactly right. So let's say, for example, you used a took a measurement and you were getting 100 decibels of noise. Right. How would you go about making sure that your noise level reduction was reduced to 85 or less? Okay, just for example, I see on... Um, here, these have a rating of 32 and an NRR, so my exposure is 68 decibels. Wrong. <laughs> Fortunately, that is not the case, Jack. Um, so the NRR level, in order to actually get an accurate estimate, you have to reduce that number by 7 and cut it in half. So you're not actually getting, uh, th reducing the, the NRR level is not actually reducing the decibels from 32. Uh, by 32, what you're doing is you're actually getting 12.5 decibel reduction. Okay, so that's pretty unexpected. So um, what NRR rating would get me to 85 decibels? So it's simple enough in order to figure out what NRR rating you need in order to get down to the proper reduction. You just take that equation I gave you and you turn it on its head. So we're trying to reduce by 15 or more, right, for, to go from 100 to 85 decibels. So what you do, the difference there is 15. You double that to 30 and then add 7, it's 37. So you want NRR rating of 37 or higher in order to get your uh, noise level reduction to a safe level. Okay, Garrett, well, I'm sure you could teach us a lot more about this, but that's definitely enough math for now. I agree. Right. Stay safe out there. <laughs>